New at noon, a plea deal has been reached for two men accused of breaking into an attraction at Walt Disney World, stealing props and then selling the Disney memorabilia on the black market. And News 6 investigator Mike DeForest is live at the Orange County Courthouse now where the accused thieves just appeared before a judge. Those men will not be going to prison, Mike. Uh, that's right. Uh, under this plea deal, they will be put on probation and the two guys got to pay back a lot of money, not just to Walt Disney World, but also to the victims who unknowingly bought those stolen that stole those stolen items. Uh, let's take a look at some video that we uh, shot just a little while ago here. You see Patrick Spikes leaving court in an elevator. Now he and his cousin did not say anything, but he did stick out his tongue just before the doors closed there. Now, while in the courtroom, Spikes and his cousin, Blayton Taunton, entered pleas of no contest rather than face a jury. The two men are accused of sneaking into the haunted mansion attraction at Disney's Magic Kingdom and stealing theme park property. These photos, which detectives say they recovered from Spikes' cell phone, show some of those items, including dresses and wigs worn by the animatronic ghosts. According to prosecutors, Spikes then sold those those stolen items. Now, under the plea deal, Spikes was sentenced to 10 years of supervised probation and he must perform community service. He and his cousin were also ordered to pay a total of more than $25,000 in restitution, and both men are banned from entering any Disney property. Now, Spikes' cousin received slightly less punishment. He'll be put on probation for five years. If both men successfully complete that probation, they will not have that criminal conviction on their records. Reporting live at the Orange County Courthouse, Mike DeForest, News 6. All right, Mike, thank you.